you would like to know if the color of the car impacts the inside temperature of the car. You find four cars of different colors and park them outside and you measure the inside temperature of each car every 30 minutes for two hours. The color of the car is the independent variable because you have four different colors and you change this. Remember the independent variable is what you change in the experiment. The temperature inside each car is your dependent variable. It may vary according to the car's color. You will be measuring this variable by taking the temperature inside the car every 30 members. Remember, the dependent variable is what you are measuring. The height of a tree depends on the amount of water it receives. The amount of water the tree receives is the independent variable. The amount of water that the tree receives will change and the height of the tree is the dependent variable because you are measuring the height of each tree. Another example, will eating five servings of bananas a week reduce the blood pressure in male patients? The number of bananas that the patients eat each week will be the independent variable because it will change and the blood pressure is the dependent variable because it is what you are measuring. I would like to know if higher air pressure in my car tires will increase my gas mileage. I will test my car at 20 PSI and then at 35 PSI and see if the miles per gallon changes. The different air pressure will be the independent variable. It is what I'm changing. Measuring the miles per gallon is the dependent variable. It's what I'm measuring. And driving the same car each time would be one control variable. This will help keep the results constant. Is let it sit and soak for a while. Probably will soak for a couple of hours. And then we will be able to measure the amount of water in each one of these cups and that will be our dependent variable and we'll see does fresh water is it absorbed more quickly than salt water so let's see what happens okay so four hours later here is what we have and as you can see the water has moved from one side to another and now all of the cups are filled up so now I need to get an idea of which one is more efficient, the fresh water or the salt water. So In summary, the independent variable is the variable that can stand alone. It is the variable that you are changing. In walking water, you change the different types of water, either fresh or salt water. The dependent variable depends on the independent variable and you measure this variable. You measure the amount of water that walked or traveled into the empty cup. That would be your dependent variable. And you had several constant or control variables. You use the same type of cup. You had the same amount of water, the same paper towels, etc.